Yes, yes, okay, so today we are back from number two and today we are teaching you three key moves so if you practice every day, you have insanely fast footwork. That's what they look like. Okay, so the first one we're gonna get into is the V and it looks a bit like this. So what it is, it's opening up across your body and opening out. Boom, 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 boom. Sounds pretty cool as well, not that you can hear it because we got these super loud casts and a flying bridge. Holland man, I don't know what it's about. Anyway, the aim of this trick is before every session that you're training, you're just gonna do it as a warm up. So when you're doing your stretches, basically these three exercises I use every time before training just to get warm and then get my stretches in. So this V, normally I'm using it just so that I'm not stiff, carry on, but over time, you're gonna be able to do it pretty fast, okay? So the movement itself, what we're gonna do, we plant our standing leg, which is our weak foot. So this is my left with our strong foot, my right. We're gonna have our foot on the ball. It's all with the bottom of our sole. What we're gonna do, we're gonna move it across our standing leg, boom. Then we're gonna open up our hips as we come back and push out. When we do this, we push out, then stop it. So that's two touches, back, out, stop. And don't try and do it fast to start with. This is just a move, just like this, stretching your leg. And then try and not stop the ball and make it a continuous roll. So instead of stopping it, we're just gonna roll it back, back. And you don't have your foot on it the whole time. It just looks like I do. What I'm doing, I leave it, leave it, leave it and eventually we get used to it and then we can speed up. When you are trying it, do not try to be fast. Try and get the right movement. It's like a V shape, okay? You know, we don't want to be doing it too little. We want to be opening up our body in to out, in to out. And this is a good stretch as well. And then of course, you're gonna to have to change legs. My left foot's a bit rusty, but with speed, it will come with time. If we do this every day, after two, three days, you'll see a difference. After a week, you'll be a lot quicker, and especially with the other drills. So the next one is triangles. Okay, so now it's triangles. This is the second exercise. It's got three touches. It's an upgrade to the V's, and I use this a lot in panna as well. So not only will it help your fast footwork, it can help you in the game. So what it is, three touch motion. We go across our body. Same, we're gonna plant our standing leg. First touch is gonna be with this part of your toe. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna roll it across our body like we do in a V, but it's flat, okay? It's gonna be flat, like this. Then we're gonna point our foot down, okay? So we come here and we point our toes. And what we're gonna do, we're then gonna push the ball forwards with our toe. One, two. Now we're gonna stop it and roll back. Toe across, ball forward, roll back. We're gonna create this shape. So it's across, forwards, back. Across, forwards, back. Very good for balance. It's also gonna strengthen your standing leg. It's gonna hurt after a while. Same with the Vs. That's why you're gonna have to learn to do it both feet. But it's a very good stretch. Roll forwards, back, roll forwards, back. When you've got your rhythm, you can speed it up. You can speed it up. The aim is that you just wanna keep the movement's clear and that you can hear every touch. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You can go faster, um, however, that's not necessary. So, what I'd recommend for this one, just like the Vs, do 30 seconds each leg. If that hurts too much to start with, because your standing leg will ache, then you can cut it down to a time which suits you. I like to do 30 seconds each leg, uh, just as a warm up for each of these exercises. And then you can switch between them without stopping, and that's when you're getting better at the triangles. You can also do the same for V's, I guess. And you can go between, ooh, you can go between V's, triangles, and that's a good little challenge. But now we're on to the third one. This is double foot clapping. And this one is super useful for actually in-game. Okay, so the third and final exercise is the double foot clapping. What it's gonna be, it's without the hops, it's just to move backwards. I like doing this to get some sort of mobility on the pitch, see what it's feeling like. And uh, yeah, using both feet, you're testing your balance and over time, speed will really increase at which you can do this, which is super cool. And it will also help in avoiding opponent's tackles and getting out of range. Normally in clapping, you might have seen the basic clapping, you can do it pretty fast if you practice that as well. However, this one, what we're gonna do, we're not flicking it with the bottom or the side of our toe, what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the instep. So we're gonna do roll back, instep, grab, and then we're gonna rotate our hips and do the same motion the other way. Because we're not hopping, it's hard to stay in the same place because normally we're just how far forwards and back we go because of our hop. We're no longer doing this, so it's okay to go backwards. A good warm up would be to pick a spot on the pitch and you're just gonna work your way forwards and backwards from that using this. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, so on. And then when we get back, Drop forwards and we can just go again. We can keep it going. And then you can get a lot faster. And also it's helping you move around the pitch, stretching both legs. And when you try and do it more on the spot, you can get some good speed with it. Um, 
and I just think it's very good for coordination it's like it loosens up your hips and when you're going between them with these with triangles with loud motorbikes right, it all comes together one final thing I would recommend as a challenge is to try and combine all three of these warm-ups into one every day and if you can do it as a routine I promise you your feet will get faster and you can see the improvement in yourself if you film it every day. Okay, so this is how the walk can look like. I'd say 30 seconds of V strong foot, then without stopping, you're gonna to wanna to switch. Other foot, 30 seconds. Then to triangles without stopping. 30 seconds again, switch. 30 seconds, and then finally, we're gonna get into the clapping. Going backwards, try to do this for 30 seconds. And after that, if you are not warmed up, I don't know what will get you warm. Okay, so a final pro tip I'd say is focus on the shape and the range of movement. You don't want to just be focusing on speed. Speed does not look good. You'll get that of time. Just make sure you're doing the right shape. All right, there's some, there's some little girl trying to pan on me. So I'm going to stand like this. <laughs> However, what is more important is that you get this down, you improve your footwork, make sure you film yourself, do it on the first day, and then after a week, film again, and I bet you see an improvement. Feel free to tag me on Instagram, at Panna. If you've learned something, smash the like button, subscribe for more, hit the bell so you learn it for you, mate. Let's go.